bunkers. Yes. Um, we did the flop shot last week, mm -hmm. and we noticed that. I said we're going to open the face. Yes. And cut through the stem, saw through the stem. Right. So the task was sawing through the stem. Correct. Here, when we open the face, remember when we first started chipping? Let's say my hand is the sole of the club, and I open up the face. Notice how it raises the leading edge off, mm -hmm. so that when you shave along the ground, you don't gouge the ground. Right. Okay. So what that'll look like here for you guys? screen here see this so there's square and when I open the face see the and I'm not leaning the shaft back for that I'm just turning the shaft see the diff so when you open the face you're see if you run the club along the surface of the sand mm -hmm. you're actually moving some sand with the sole of the club mm -hmm. that's too open right there Okay. Can you feel how you're moving sand with the sole of the club? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So if we add a little momentum to that, see how it just took a little divot of sand and popped it right here on the, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So we add a little momentum and notice the divot of sand. Right. So what we're going to do, stand right here in front of me. Yes. Is we're going to take a divot of sand and spray it into the wall here. Okay. So that's why the, the last flop shot I asked you to do with a full swing, right. you'll notice to move sand, you need a lot of momentum. Mm -hmm. So everybody thinks, oh my gosh, if I swing that hard with the ball, the ball's gonna go too far. Well, the ball's just a big grain of sand when you're in the bunker. Okay. There is no ball, it's just a big, it's like a stone, mm -hmm. bigger grain of sand. So I'm just gonna spray sand into the wall here. Yep. Cool. Just whoosh, put a nice divot of sand in there. Okay. Show me that. Spray paint that sucker. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're opening the face. Yes. Way open. Yeah. And because it's a, an open face, it's a fade, we're playing it forward to center. Just like the flop shot. Okay. So, so that, yes. yes. So you find the center of your feet. Yes. You and that's draw a line the there and the ball will be just slightly forward to that. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, you know, you're not supposed to just for rules purposes, right? Yeah. And we're, we're practicing. And if you need to do a couple of practice swings to get your bearings because you don't have a practice bunker where you are, say Sean said it was okay for me to take a practice swing. Okay? Blame it on me. Yes. So you can ground your club and take a nice practice swing. I can? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm not grabbing the sand yet, right? Just a practice swing? Correct. Okay. Just whip through. Yes. So you can dig your feet in to get some nice footing. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's why we do that, because it's a little loose, right? Right, yeah. And when you dig your feet in, here's a little tip. Dig the insides of your feet only. Oh, it's like okay. you create a little doorstop underneath each foot. Okay. Okay? Yeah. We're not building a stance here. We're setting a fair stance. Okay. All right? So right. dig the inside of your feet. Good. Okay. Practice again? Yeah. Nice spray of sand into the wall. Okay. Excellent. Now, notice the direction. Yes. That tells you the direction of your momentum. Right. So if you want the sand to go to the middle of the wall, what are you going to do? I'm going to, um, yeah, yeah. Line, so to line, up, line up your momentum. That's right, exactly. Aren't you going to open your stance? A little bit more. Aim more left? Aim more left, like this. Well, the whole machine? The whole machine, yeah. Yes, yeah. bring it around. Okay. Some more. More left. <laughs> more left? There you go. Yeah. Good. Now. <laughs> Where is the center of that? So, now the center is here. Yes. Ball there. Ball there. All right. Good. Spray the sand into the wall. Okay. Yay! Look at that. Okay. So notice now you're spraying the, mo the the sand into that part of the wall. Correct. Yes. So we have a golf ball. Okay. The white cone. Yes. So you're gonna take. See the, the, the ball has a nice shadow? Yes, it does. Your eyes are going to be on the sand, about an inch behind the ball. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to hit that spot. No. Nope. You're trying to, you're putting your eyes on the sand, so your attention's on the sand, and you're using the sole of the club to spray a nice divot of sand onto that cone. Okay. Okay? Yep. Let's see you do that. Okay. You can start with a practice swing right next to it. All right. And let's see you spray the sand toward the cone. Okay. So a little bit more forward, right? He forward, said. that's it. Yeah. An open face is a fade, a fade is forward. Okay.
amazing. Did you hear the sound? Mm -hmm. You felt that yep. deflection? Yeah, I did. That's the sound, that's the feel. Now come to the ball. Okay. Eyes on the shadow of the ball. Feel that same whipping skip of sand to the cone. Nice, not bad. Did you use momentum or force? Forced. All right. So Forced. it was a lot of effort there. Lots of effort. Now, were you focused on sending the sand to the cone or were you focused on trying to lift the ball? Lift the ball. Big difference, huh? Big difference. So when you guys rewind that and see her practice swing versus when she had the ball, mm -hmm. she dropped the ball insofar as her focus, mm -hmm. right? I did, yeah. So Absolutely. let's see a spray sand. All right. Pro project the sand with a nice whip using the sole of the club. Look at the diff. I know. Sand yeah. got all the way out there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful projection. Okay. Wow, look how far that went. Whoa. <laughs> so that would be the maximum distance for your bunker shot. Okay. Which is about 30 yards, 35 yards. Okay. So let's see another one. That was really good. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. <clears throat> now, just like normal short game, yep. try to keep a little more weight against your front side. Okay. Right. Okay. So brace against your left side a bit more. Okay. Nice open face. Now, when you're doing a regular bunker shot, take your grip. Mm -hmm. you, you should be hovering the club, not grounding right. it, right? Okay. Just so I want you to get start getting used to that now. Mm -hmm. And then, but your eyes, see that way your eyes can hit the spot about an inch behind the ball and it's not hidden by the club. Correct. Okay? Yeah. Spray the sand to the cone. Okay. Okay, now notice where you enter the sand back here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh. Now, your focus is going to go to the sole of the club. Mm -hmm. You're using the sole of the club to spray the sand to that cone. Okay. Okay. Now, notice where you entered. Yeah. That kind of, that, yeah. Yeah. So, in your backswing, mm -hmm. you slid. I did. And that's a very natural tendency for people is they'll, they'll try to slide back here in hopes of getting under the ball. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to hold yourself against that target. Okay. So we keep the weight against that left side from a strong right. Now do a backswing and stop. Good. Now just let the hips turn a bit more. There. Do you feel now that you can go this way mm -hmm. versus slide? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that feel like you're going to dig here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want to feel like we're projecting the sand that way. Come on back. Okay. Now give it a try. Okay. Look at the difference. Yeah, yeah. Look where you entered the sand now. Mm -hmm. Before you entered the sand here at the back foot. Absolutely. Now you're ent entering the sand an inch behind the ball. Right. See the diff? Yeah. So the purpose is... I see it and I felt whoops. it on top of it. Right? Yes. Like the, it's, mm -hmm. We're projecting the sand that way. Okay. So now the ball is just a big grain of sand. Okay. So you're going to project the whole divot of sand, same way you just did. Open the face, a little more, <laughs> keep going. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's like the flop shot, remember? Okay, yes. All right, so there, yeah, just okay. there you go. Okay. So we hold the sand against the target. Nice projection of sand. Okay. Awesome, there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you see how you projected the sand and look at you entered the sand, not bad. It wasn't as bad as before. Right. So. Do you think you could have put a little bit more momentum that way? Yes. So you got it out very successfully. Mm -hmm. It would have been about 10 feet from the fly. Right. Okay? Okay. You'll see that as you practice projecting sand, you'll see how ridiculously easy this is. Okay. okay? Let's All see right. it again. All right. Project the sand to the cone. That's your only task. Okay. So nice open face, about 30 degrees. That's it. Your eyes are on the shadow of the sand. Mm -hmm. Spray the sand with a nice whip. Whoa! Mm. <laughs> Did you see her follow through? Yes. Notice you had a full mm -hmm. follow through, Chantal. It surprised me. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? A lot of people say, I don't have a follow through. 
Well, I go, okay, what's your focus? Ball. Well, why would you have a follow through if your attention's on the ball? Mm -hmm. But if your attention is on spray the sand over there, right. you're going to get a gorgeous follow through mm -hmm. all by yourself mm -hmm. without even trying, right? Right, exactly. Wasn't that gorgeous? How great. So <laughs> let's, let's see you do one more okay. to confirm okay, that it wasn't beginner's luck. Exactly. <laughs> So that's what it should look like, sound like, and feel like, exactly what you just did. Okay. So you have it in your mind right now what you're going to do with that div of sand. Mm -hmm. Spray the sand over there, hold, the, hold that divot over there. Okay. No. Now, you didn't feel too close to that one? I felt too close, yeah. Yes. And I felt that I didn't finish my backswing as well. Well, the thing is, I put the ball closer to you, but you never moved your feet, did you? I didn't. You don't, you see, don't say, don't, don't Sean must know what he's that, doing, right? Exactly I just put a ball I, down. That's exactly what I thought. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, right away, you yeah. felt something was wrong. I did. And there's a great lesson for you, Goldilocks. Yes. So, we'll, we'll, we'll use this as a great opportunity to learn Goldilocks as far as distance to ball. Mm -hmm. So, show me a distance to ball that you feel be way too far way too far yep so reach for the ball so right now you can't project sand out there no. from there no, no, no. get way too close now your arms can't swing freely mm -hmm. so you need to have your arms swinging freely from those shoulder sockets yeah right yes and you need to take a divot of sand and project it out there right can you do it from this setup yes awesome you yes. did that perfectly now open the face okay Good. Mm -hmm. Can you feel the sole of the club projecting sand right now? Mm -hmm. Remember what it sounded like yes. and it felt like? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Nice whipping projection of sand that way. Oh. <laughs> I love this girl. She's awesome. I mean, you can't do any better than that. Great. Wonderful. See you in the next one for putting. Thank you, Sean.